Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake again. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here on Diver's Isle. Where Alan and Alice Wake are settling in for their vacation. And now, I must do a jump cut to the inside of the building. Sorry about that. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure oh, he's glad no. to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now it's the music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. Uh... Alan is voiced by Matthew Poretta. And, uh... Well, we became very familiar with Matthew Poretta in Let's Play Control, because in that game, he played the live-action character Dr. Casper Darling, who only appeared in videos scattered around the environment. Oh, yes, uh... But visually, he's actually modeled after uh, Finnish actor Ilka Vili. Yes, because uh, Remedy are from Finland. The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. Is there a... There doesn't seem to be a buton to lock the camera behind you. I mean, yeah, I can see that, all sorts of horrors and all that. It is very ominous. It is, however, very peaceful out here, so, you know, maybe it will help with the white Raiders block. Love the jacket, by the way. Alan! Alan, where are you? Come inside, honey! Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Ooh. I didn't realize it was that kind of a surprise. Oh! Uh, yeah. Will I be able to put this on YouTube? Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> Okay. July 1970. Yeah, nobody's lived here on the regular for a while. Although it does also suggest that since this is in 2010, that uh, no one who has stayed here in the last 40 years has bothered to take the ca uh, calendar down. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone hey, keeps- Hey, 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 just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that! That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through.
Alice? had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! Alice! Alice! Okay. Alice! They're not real. They're not real birds, I mean. They're real, and they're really deadly, but they're not real birds. No, I need to get in there. Can't jump that. You can still dodge even if you can't sprint. Alice? Alice? Oh no. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Well, that's... That's real bad. Okay, so to reiterate, uh, the birds became things of pure evil and tried to murder me. Forest is twitching. Oh, I hate that. Uh, Alan jumped into the water after Alice, who seemed to have fallen through the railing. And now we're... Now we're here. Oh, Stucky's 200 yards. Soda, light, uh, tough tires, batteries. That's convenient. Oh, this must be what I was remembering. What is that? Creator's Dilemma by Emil Hartman, PhD. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover, either. I fucking hate that. When you, uh... When you know you've been an asshole as soon as you get a second to cool down. You know, that would have just been walking back into the building and being super apologetic about it, but... He didn't get to do that because something terrible happened. So now all he knows is, uh, that Alice is in serious trouble, and the last thing he said to her was, God damn it, like she was the problem. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Right, let's not even get into the, uh creepy widow lady blinking in and out of the argument scene. Okay. Damn. Oh. Okay. Was anyone expecting it to blow up? I think it's too many movies. Man, you brought flashlights and everything? Ah, oh, yes, the green, uh... Is that another jacket he's wearing under this one, or is that just uh, the lining? Either way, I like it. Green is my favorite color. Oh, yes, and I uh, know uh, many of you will remember the customization uh, costumes from, uh... from Control. 
and how uh, Jesse had a number of outfits, but you could just pick an entire outfit, not, like, items of clothing. Well, you probably won't be surprised to know, given that that's where they were in 2019, that uh, this is the only outfit Alan wears in this entire game, so uh, if you don't like it, here's hoping it grows on you. You brought the flashlights and everything, and now you don't have them. Hello? Here, there is a lot of, uh, oh. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. The title page of the manuscript. Departure by Alan Wake. Yeah, I don't have to read these for once. What does that mean? Oh, find this page in nightmare difficulty mode. Okay, then. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Hey, I don't like that that was written in first person. After waking up behind the hero of a crashed car, with no m clear memory of what has transpired, Wake heads for a gas station in the hopes of finding a telephone. Manuscript pages! Yeah, not to mention the fact that, uh... We only just learned the typewriter was even here. When the fuck would he have written it? God, that would just be the creepiest thing in the fucking world, finding all pages of a story I written in your style that you have no memory of writing. I'm looking all around because there's a lot of wandering through the woods in this game, which makes it really, really easy to hide uh, collectibles just off the beaten path. It is admittedly easier with a goddamn flashlight. Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! Ah, oh, fuck, I missed a scripted thing, didn't I? Fine, fine, I'll be a good boy. We'll follow the path. I'm betting it was someone stepping around the corner who isn't here right now. Here's static. Oh. Yeah, that would do it. Water is so off somehow. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. You've probably already gathered this. But yeah, this is very much a game about light and dark. In fact, this game is where I picked up that mild fixation I have on the concept. Let's see if this log, this log doesn't go anywhere. I can't walk through the branches. Oh, this log probably goes somewhere. What does that say? Hazardous environment. All visitors must visit site office. Biltmore Logging Company. Caution. Oh, built more. Huh, I get it. Wait, no. That would be for a construction company, not a logging company. Caution! Employees must wear protective eyewear at all times. That makes sense. Uh, you do not want a uh, chunk of wood bouncing off a chainsaw and flying into your face. Oh. Anybody there? 
No, that Please. guy's twitching. I've been in an accident. Let me guess. I'm gonna walk through this big old pile. And, uh, this big old pile of Jenga, from the looks of it, and he's not going to be there. Hey! Oh. Hey, you! Fail! There's been an accident! I need help! Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To meet you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. Fair and square. Sorry about that. I said something I shouldn't have. Wake fights a Taken with light. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Oh. Oh, good, he's dead. That's, uh... That's not ominous at all. Hey, maybe I should consult a doctor and turn off the game, because, uh, I'm feeling some sort of unease. Yeah, maybe the, uh, the legalese in the beginning should have been more specific about that. Nope. Can't just fuck off. Whoa! Hey! That actually got me. Well done. You know, like I said in video zero, I've lost a lot of fine details of this game, so it's not like I know where the jump scares are. Myself in the latest day. Two? Two birds incontestably. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Well, somebody remembers the dream. Huh, never seen one of those with the vest part on top of it. Oh yes, this is important. Uh, in the original Alan Wake, all of the batteries were Energizer branded. Product placement. And uh, I distinctly remember that was not the case in the two DLC chapters. I guess the contract only applied to... Uh, to uh, the main game. Although a friend of mine believes it has more to do with uh, the fact that the batteries in this game, when you're, you know, charging or boosting the flashlight, the batteries drain like this. So yeah, that would have been uh, an entire battery gone in seconds. During your record, trying it's the latest thing. Incontestably proven health benefits let you kill two birds with 
have one. Stone! You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down at the same time. No, that's right, that's not what that does in this game. I'm trying to see if I can see the town's sister city on here. I guess not. Unless it's watery there. Can't remember what it was called, just that they have a competing uh, festival called Moose Fest. <laughs> By the way, there was a really big hint in that scene, if you, in that uh, map. But I'm not going to tell you what it was. <laughs> yes. Oh, Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Oh, man. Hello? Hello? Well, I don't love that. This is bad. Love that even less. Okay. Oh. Oh, I was uh clearly meant to run there. During your Yeah, so this trying It's the latest. As near as I can tell, in con once the darkness has you, you are gone. Your soul is replaced with more darkness. You can see the sight. I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. Fair. I think the only things they say are things that they're hosts, for lack of a better word, used to tell people, like, some things they're used to saying. Phrases that they would say on their jobs. Which is why this guy is giving all kinds of advice as if he's talking to tourists who are here to rent a cabin from him. Oh yeah, the phone. Yes. Actually, yeah, I just realized that since the timer went, this would be a good spot to call it. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again. When we try to get out of a really, really sticky situation without, uh, as Alan put it, taking an axe to the forehead. Wish me luck, and stay in the light.